So we have seen absolutely everyone splashing out on 7950s and 5900Xs, including myself. But what if we want to build a brand new profitable CPU mining rig on a budget, not sacrifice any quality and still give ourselves that brand new parts warranty? In today's video, we'll look at the parts, we'll find out how much it costs, how much we're making per day and how long it will take us to pay back. So first up, let's check out the parts and see what we're working with. So to start off, we've got our motherboard. This is an MSI B450M-A Pro Max. Now this is a micro ATX motherboard. When you're doing things on a budget, always good um, to go for the, the mini ATX motherboards. They are a little bit cheaper, but you do have to make sure that things like uh, your, your CPU cooler and RAM, all those clearances uh, work with your build. So check that first. And the first thing we'll install, I like to start with the uh, NVMe M.2 drive. This is just a 256 gig. Um, SP, nothing crazy here, as cheap as you can really, always good to go for an M.2 just for the speed, for updating things like that, makes life a little bit easier. So let's go ahead, we'll get that installed first, and then uh, and then we'll move along. So next up we've got the Ryzen 5600G, this is our CPU, this is what's given us uh, all that power to start mining, so we'll get that installed, um, get some paste on it, and then we'll keep moving on. It's always important, I should actually note in here, there should be a little arrow. Might not pick it up on the camera, you can see it just there. That lines up with the arrow on the motherboard, which is right in this corner. So you've got to make sure that's put in the right spot. Sit it in, give it a little jiggle, clamp it down, and then next up is the fan. Now I should quickly mention, uh, I did need to put a different mounting bracket on. This cooler came uh, with one itself. Um, it's needed um, to fit and actually mount this on. So we've done that and next up, let's get some uh, thermal paste on here. It also came with a bit of that. I like to get a nice even spread over everything. So we'll stick that on, mount the cooler and then the fan goes on. So pretty happy with that spread. Let's sit down this cooler. All right, so we'll put this fan on next. Now it has these interesting little clips that you basically hook. Well, let's make sure that's down. You basically hook onto the backside like so. Sit it on nice and even and then it just hooks. I'll turn this around. Hooks onto the side just like that. That is one. Let's do number two. So we plug that now right around here into the CPU fan slot and that is done so far. Last part to go on, we'll throw our RAM. This is just uh, CL16 3000 RAM. Now I did just have this lying around in the spirit of doing it on budget, but you could use 3200. I think for the scale of this processor, it shouldn't be an issue, but I will let you know um, if we need to go up to get the max performance out of this CPU. All right, and that is it ready to go. Fans installed, RAMs installed, CPUs installed. We also have our M.2, which we previously flashed uh, into Hive OS. So uh, look out for a video. I've got one on my channel for that if you need to know how to do that. Next step is to go and get the power supply plugged in, which we have right here. Just a thermal take, 500 watt nothing too crazy you don't need to be spending a fortune on power supplies this thing this cpu is only pulling 
I think it's 50 or 60 watts at TDP and then the motherboard and M.2 maybe a little bit more and the fan might be 80 90 watts max for this whole thing so keeping the power supply cheap while maintaining you know a quality brand is the way to go for that so next we'll uh, we'll get this plugged into the Ethernet cable get it plugged in and uh, we'll start hashing away we'll meet you there in uh, Hive OS and we'll have a look at what this thing's making all right, so here we are back in my CPU mining farm. We can see it hashing away nicely in here, the 5600G, uh, 34 ITS, I believe is the metric. Now I have got this undervolted a little bit, so you could squeeze a little bit more out of it um, by you know, using XMP on your RAM, um, putting the core voltage up, things like that. I did explain a little bit of, of that in my last um, how to build a profitable CPU mining video. So if you're looking for that sort of BIOS information, go check that out. Now, I've set up my HiveOS flight sheet and I'll be honest, I've seen a couple of videos, you know, that go through the GitHub and the GitHub explains how you are supposed to set up these flight sheets, but none of those worked for me. Um, I was speaking to a few people and it did take a little bit of figuring out to do. Um, so if you're interested in how to set that up, you do need to use HiveOS better. There's a few different little commands you need to put in. Um, let me know down in the comments and I can get a video up quick for you guys on that one. Um, if you want to set something like this up and if you're running into troubles, but moving along pretty nicely. I mean, the, the 3900X was more than twice the price and is only getting 50% more hash. So, you know, go figure, better bang for buck out of the 5600G. But the 3900X and the 5900Xs do offer more versatility and better profits on, on other coins. But this is on Cubic at the moment, which I think a lot of people are trying to get in before this yield skyrockets even higher. So how does that equate uh, to dollars? How do we find out how much we're making? So if we head over to trustyhashrate.no, I say with Jess because there's a lot of people that uh, don't like hashrate.no, but I think as a baseline for beginners, I think, really good place to start for overclocks so what were we 34 so you can go into this into coins into cubic and the calculator you enter your rate in um, and you can enter in exactly uh, your hash rate and i'll tell you estimated revenue estimated profits based on uh, your electricity rate and things like that now Cubic does involve uh, a bit of luck you know with hitting blocks and not blocks souls i should say um, so a fair bit to learn about it. It's a pretty, I mean, I like the project. It's, 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 if you're used to Hive OS, it's janky because it's not straightforward to set up any of that sort of stuff. But people who have been on it for ages and make, have made some really good money out of it. And there's still good profits, especially, you know, with budget mining rigs. So always do your own research, but that's it at the moment. A dollar for USD, 0.75 cent profit, or what's that? 103,847 cubic. So let's jump over to uh, another trusty spreadsheet. We'll see what these parts cost um, and how long we could pay this back off at current rates. Okay, yes, another spreadsheet. Um, you know, I like to do a lot of spreadsheets, but they're good just so people can see the numbers. Um, a lot of people do like this sort of stuff. So let's go through it real quick. It won't take up too much of your time. Um, so the CPU, the 5600G, uh, Ryzen 5, 5600G, got that uh, 175 bucks Aussie or 113 USD. Um, now these are all brand new parts. So I mentioned in the intro that the beauty of this budget rig is that uh, everything's under warranty. So if you have any issues with anything, then you take it straight back. That's, that's the beauty of it. Instead of buying secondhand parts, you could do it even cheaper secondhand, but you know, why not? Um, get it all brand new. Uh, the RAM uh, had this lying around at home in the spirit of uh, building a budget rig. I was unsure whether the uh, CL16 3000 megahertz RAM would be enough, but I did some research. It's fine. I put my uh, 3200 uh, megahertz RAM in it as well. It didn't make a difference. So we stuck with that. Cost was zero. And the Assassin V2 Plus, um, it does come with a, a stock cooler. And it is a low wattage CPU, so you can get away with using it if you want. Temps will be high because you're basically maxing out the wattage of the CPU. So I've gone something a bit beefier. I think this has almost got twice the CFM. Um, the V2 Plus was 30 Aussie, uh, just under 20 bucks US. 
Now the motherboard I explained in that video as well, uh, when we're going through the parts, the micro ATX, so always a good way and a good, uh, a good place to be for setting up uh, budget mining rigs, even normal uh, CPU mining rigs. Um, if, if the parts fit, go a micro ATX for sure. Um, also brand new. Thermal take uh, power supply, pretty much as cheap as you can get while still getting a decent brand, all brand new as well. And then just the M.2 drive, um, 256 gig is plenty. You could get even smaller if you wanted to go cheaper, but for me personally, I'm thinking 35 bucks is cheap, so why not? Um, came out to 380 bucks or 246 US dollars. So based off those current prices that we saw on hashrate.no, um, it's in USD, so it had uh, 75 cents per day after electricity. Now that's at my rate. Your rate will be different, so make sure you do your research, enter your numbers in, and just do your research in general. You know, this is uh, a bit of a spec play cubic. It could turn into nothing. It could, you know, 10x, 1,000x. It's a tiny market cap. So, you know, if you're going to build a, a rig with this 5600G, just bear in mind that you won't be making 75 cents on other um, algorithms. I think on Zephyr, it's making maybe 30. So bear that in mind. Um, but just under a year uh, for the ROI, which is awesome because in my uh, 5900X videos and the 3900X, they're about the same um, ROI, which, you know, considering they're making twice as much or were making twice as much, they also cost more than twice as much. Um, so pretty interesting there. So hopefully, you know, if Cubic stays the same as it is, this thing will pay itself off pretty quick. And if it stays stable for another month or so, you might see me building a few more of these. So there is the build. You can adjust these, you know, other parts. If you wanted to go eBay prices, get things secondhand, you could probably knock, you know, if we're talking USD, you could probably knock another maybe 75 bucks off that and get it for absolutely nothing. So. But of course, you don't have the warranty then. And everything I buy is secondhand as far as, uh, you know, crypto mining hardware. So I figured, why not? We'll go brand new because it's so cheap. So there you have it. That's the build, guys. That's how much it costs. So hopefully that sort of gave you a little bit of insight there. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully uh, that gave you a little bit more insight, uh, I guess, into uh, budget mining rebuilds. They are possible. You can make a little bit of money out of it, hopefully. Or you could lose everything. Do your own research. Um, I'm in a position where I'm not sweating this, so uh, it might be different for everyone else. So make sure you do your own research and uh, make a decision on whether you want to invest in this. So uh, that'll wrap it, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button. Peace.